In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up a hypothesis-enabled reading in your Detail Brightspace course using the new assignment workflow. This will make it a little bit easier for you to create your hypothesis-enabled reading without having to copy and paste a URL that was required in the older process. So I am in the content area of my Brightspace course, so I will want to navigate to the area where I would like to add my hypothesis-enabled reading. Then I'll click on the button that says Existing Activities and scroll down and find Hypothesis in the list. Once I find Hypothesis in the list, I'll be presented with the file picker. This will show me the different sources from where I can grab a document that I'd like students to annotate. I can use a URL of a web page, a YouTube video, or a JSTOR article, or I can grab a PDF from my Google Drive, OneDrive, or my D2L course site. In this case, I have an article open in another tab, so I'm going to use this URL. I'm going to copy this URL, go back to my Brightspace course, and click on the URL button. I can paste the URL in here and click Submit. At this point, I can change the title of my hypothesis-enabled reading. This can reflect either the title of the reading or the assignment name that you would like to give it. I can select whether or not I would like to make it a group assignment. If I leave this deselected, then everyone in the class will be able to annotate the document together. I'll click Continue. And then my new hypothesis-enabled reading will be added at the end of my module here. I can click the little down pointing arrow and click on edit properties in place if I would like to add some instructions as part of the description. With those steps, you should be able to add your hypothesis enabled reading to your D2L Brightspace course site.